My name is Melissa Boucher and I'm a third year graduate student in John Hammock's lab. We study the neurobiology of stress and anxiety. And right now our lab makes up four different graduate students, including myself. We're part of the biobehavioral cluster, which makes up of students and faculty from a variety of different departments. So the students up on the fourth floor are from both the NGP and from the experimental psychology program. And up on the fourth floor, it's uh, John Hammock's lab, Mark Bowton, John Green, and Donna Tufexis. And this is a group of scientists who are kind of really interested in behavioral neuroscience, so kind of understanding the um, neurobiology of behavior. We also meet with people outside of John Dewey Hall, so we work with sometimes people in psychiatry and neurological sciences, and anyone's kind of welcome to t attend our cluster meetings that happen during the semester. I chose UPM because when I came to interview here a few years ago, I just thought that the environment was really warm and welcoming. Everyone seemed really collaborative too, and it's I've noticed that since I've been here as uh, I've been here as well. Everyone that I work with is not just my colleague or my coworker, but they're also my friends. Hi, I'm Nick Fontaine. I'm a second year student here in the neuroscience graduate program. I'm in Dr. John Hammock's lab. Uh, we are in the biobehavioral cluster. Uh, part of the Department of Psychological Sciences. One of my favorite parts of the NGP here is Journal Club. Each week a student presents either a paper that's pertinent to their research or just a paper they find interesting, or uh, advanced students talk about their research. People are able to ask questions and openly. It's a way to uh, take in a lot of research and just general neuroscience you wouldn't otherwise be exposed to, and also it really helps you uh, learn how to present your own research. My whole life I grew up expecting to go to college in Boston, grew up a diehard Red Sox and Boston sports fan, and then my family on a whim came up to look at UVM, and I remember just like walking around campus being like, this is really cool, and then we went down to Church Street and it was like, you know, negative 20 degrees outside, but it was still, you know, ice sculptures everywhere, lights all on the trees and everything, it just looked so pretty. I remember sit standing at the top of Church Street looking down and be like, I want to go to school here, and I ended up going, doing my undergrad here at UVM, and six years of being here in Burlington, I still love it here. I love the general culture at UVM is really great. I've been here for six years now, and I've met like three mean people the whole time, and I've met a lot of people here, and just everyone's really uh, for forthcoming and open to whatever you want to talk to them about, and generally helpful. Everyone here is trying to help each other out. We're not cutthroat at all. In the Wizard Lab, we have three graduate students. There's myself, there's Harrison, and there's Megan. And we all work on studying the neural control of the bladder, but we all do very different things. So our lab involves using techniques such as calcium imaging, um, quantitative PCR, immunohistochemistry, functional studies like cystometry, and we do animal surgeries as well. UVM is obviously in Vermont, and Vermont is awesome. UVM is centered right in Burlington, and Burlington, Burlington is this really eclectic city where everybody fits in. Outside of Burlington, there are all these really cute suburbs, and then if you go even outside of that, there are the mountains where in the summer and fall, the foliage is amazing, you can hike. In the winter, the mountains, of course, get a bunch of snow. I mean, we're in Vermont. And so the skiing is incredible. The snowboarding, I don't snowboard, but I hear it's incredible. Um, and it's just, it's a really awesome place to be um, in the lab and then you can go outside and it's just, it's beautiful. Vermont is unlike any other state in this country. My name is Amanda Hernan. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Neurological Sciences. I work in the Epilepsy Cognition and Development Group at UVM. What we do is, as kind of the name implies, we are interested in understanding a lot of the comorbidities, specifically the cognitive comorbidities that occur with epilepsy. When I was looking at different positions and different places to be an assistant professor, one of my favorite things about this environment is just how collaborative we are. So I work in the Epilepsy Cognition and Development Group, but I also work pretty closely with um, James Stafford, who's not, he's a ECD tangential, um, and we share spaces and we share equipment, and just there's never any pretense, there's never any animosity, there's never any undercutting. We're all very open and we're all very 
collaborative. And I think that's like one of my favorite things about our department and about NGP and about um, you know, UVM in general. I found that, you know, Burlington itself is just a really great town. We have a lot of things that you, you would find in bigger cities, um, but without some of the big city feel uh, and some of the things that, you know, maybe are less good for raising children in big cities. Um, so it's, it's been really nice to have my son play and hang out in Burlington and um, grow up here. So. <laughs> the ECD group, or Epilepsy Cognition and Development Group, is a group of many people and we all collaborate and we meet together, discuss our research, our give presentations. There are multiple PIs, so there's Dr. Holmes and Dr. Barry. We also have Matt Weston and Matt Mahoney, and our newest PI, I believe, is Amanda Hernan, and I actually work in the Hernan space. Also in the ECD group is Rod Scott, who also happens to be my co-mentor, co-PI, and so it's, it's a really great opportunity to have different styles of mentors and different expertise. There's just a lot of really rich experience to be had, and um, a lot of opportunities for collaboration and everyone is incredibly welcoming and everyone has a different mentor style so you can sort of pick your mentors and, and find different people for different needs. A day in the life of an NGP grad student, there's obviously the component of, of working, doing your research, um, maybe going to classes for more senior grad students, maybe it's teaching. And then there's the work-life balance part of it, and we all are friends, and we have our outside life, and we definitely, you know, hang out and have fun and try to be social. It's okay when you're in Vermont to not be social because you have nature around, so it's fine to just be with your dog as well. Hi, my name is Patrick Mullen and I work in the labs of Chris Franklin in biochemistry and Alicia Ebert in biology. What's it like to work for two different advisors here at UVM? Um, I would say it's really wonderful and has enriched my experience here greatly. Between those two sets of expertise, it's just spanning such a wide array of scientific topics. My project, my thesis research, wouldn't be possible without that broad range of expertise. So I chose UVM because of sort of the breadth of different research opportunities that are here. Being affiliated with a medical school has been a great asset because um, you're not sort of pigeonholed into studying psychology or um, one certain subdiscipline of neuroscience or another. You can really study anything. What comes after graduation? What is the next step for someone who leaves University of Vermont with a neuroscience PhD? So in the past, we've had students go on to do postdocs in academia. Recently, we've had a, a student go on to do a postdoc in industry. We have um, students who have gone to work at drug companies in high-level positions, and also students who have left research entirely. So a fellow student of mine, uh, Nick D'Alberto, two years ago after he graduated, he actually became a professor teaching in the neuroscience department uh, here at University of Vermont. So that was really cool to see him um, take that next step and still run into him in the hallway and such. And I'm also looking into these types of um, teaching positions and recently had a interview at Norwich University where two of the uh, individuals on the search committee were uh, ex-NGP students. So it was really nice to have um, a friendly face in the room and, and feel that connection. I do feel incredibly supported by the um, sort of NGP infrastructure. The director, the assistant director, and the administrator are here to basically help you in whatever way possible, whether it be um, an issue you might be having with your science or um, a question that you have about graduating or just, you know, you're struggling in lab and you need someone to talk to and have a quick laugh with. And I do feel incredibly supported here uh, by those folks. In summary, uh, my time spent at UVM for the past five and a half years has been really wonderful and um, intellectually stimulating in terms of the science and also just fun in terms of uh, living here in Vermont. And so I uh, hope to see some of you next fall. Mm -hmm.